honey On the third day of Christmas, my baby gave to me The certificate to get my favorite TVs On the second day of Christmas, my baby gave to me The keys to a CLK Mercedes On the first day of Christmas, my baby gave to me Quality T.I. and me tomato cage right here and there's eight bundles of garland which is from the Dollar Tree and this is the ones we use the 15 foot garlands and we are using eight of these for the tree and we have some twine like for doing ribbons for Christmas time um, some thin wire and that's what we're going to use to bind up the top of this here in this area so, I'm going to um, just go through and show you guys. You need eight of these, some wire, scissors. I got hot glue over there just in case I need it because sometimes these could slip. Um, so just to avoid any slipping from the wires or anything, we put a little hot glue in between the wires and stuff after we're done. And there's one over there that's already done. So we are going to do one now and show you how it's done. This is a 54 inch uh, tomato cage from Home Depot. They also have them at Walmart. You might be able to find them for like a buck right now. But we bought this um, when the season was changing and we paid the regular price like $4.90 something. Less than five bucks for it. So I'm just going to show you how I do this. And I'm going to speed through it. This is what you're going to do until you get it nice and tight. Just to keep these together so that the tree doesn't move on you. And I believe I got this. No, I don't believe. I know I got this wire from Michaels last year. And it was like a dollar something after using the coupon. And I've used this several times. This stuff goes a long way. So that's all I do is just to bind these together with some wire. And it's so thin that you can literally cut it with a scissors. And that is that. And these garlands, you just pop them open. And I'm going to start it and then I'm going to speed through me creating the whole tree. It's very simple. This video doesn't need to be all that long. So you just unravel your garland. And then you start from the top. And we had some hiccups. Me and my husband had hiccups. And what it was is we were wrapping it too tight. And if you wrap it really tight, you're going to need more garland. So, what, baby? Oh, the, oh, listen. This was the other hiccup, guys. The other hiccup for us was when you get to these spaces here, the bigger spaces, the garland was falling inside. So I'm going to twine the garland around, I mean the wire around in here to show you guys, I forgot all about that, how we keep it so it can still keep shape once you start wrapping the garland. So we're getting ready to do that and then um, let me pause it and show you how we wrap it and how it'll help keep it shape. All I'm doing guys is wrapping it up and down and making like a V shape going up and down from one end of the V to the top and just going all the way around and this is going to help your garland not to sink inside of the tomato cage now it is wrapping time guys make sure you do not wrap it tight you will see as i wrap i'll take my hand and kind of loosen it up a little bit because you will be using more garland than you need to to be honest we had to unravel one of these i think like twice because i was just wrapping it too tight and not moving it as i went down the tree
Now guys, we are doing these as DIY trees for outside, but these actually can go inside also. If you are an empty nester or someone who is a single person or a couple that doesn't have children and just want the holiday festive look without buying those expensive Christmas trees, you can actually make this tree for much less than we made it for because as I told you, we bought these cages way before the winter time came, which made us pay the original price. They are now like a dollar or less for these cages. So if you're paying a dollar or less for the cage and about eight bucks for the garland that's less than 10 bucks and you'll have a cute kiss christmas tree <laughs> to put in your home so that's a great idea and you also can share this with someone you think that can save a buck and have the holiday festive look in their home by making their own diy christmas tree It is done. Did you guys see that? So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 bucks to do some outside Christmas trees that you can keep for years. A great project to do with your kids and you cannot beat the price for the size of these things. 54 inches tall. So this is what I was talking about. Putting glue here because this stuff likes to pop up. This um, twine for some reason will pop up. So this allows this to stay put. But this is gonna be hidden because we're gonna put a big um, bow on that or something nice like a big decoration. But we're getting ready to put the lights on it. And you guys are going to see what they look like outside tonight once they are decorated. But that'll be in this video. So I'll show you guys both of them. So there they both are. We gotta do a little fluffing and stuff just to um, conceal the wire on that one. That was the first one. So that was a trial and error. And you see this one came out much better, which is the one we did on camera. Look at, I just made some bows for the tops of them. And um, this was some stuff I got last year from Michaels along with these berries, which I have a whole bunch of them. So I decided to put the berries on the tree. <laughs> oh, excuse me guys I decided to put the berries on the tree and I want to show you guys how it looked lit up but you guys are gonna see it right after this outside so there it is and if you guys want to see these actual trees from last year I did a DIY on these I gotta fix that when it got messed up in the box so I gotta glue and do some things to that but these are Dollar Tree all Dollar Tree everything Except for, yeah, I think everything is out of tree, even a ribbon. Go check out my Christmas DIYs from last year. Um, those are little trees that I showed you how to make last year. So, yeah. But this is what she looks like. Isn't it cute, guys? Thumbs up this video. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. And I will definitely get back at you, but I'm gonna fi finish decorating that one and getting these bad boys outside. And I'm gonna let you guys see what they look like in the nighttime. Later Gators. All right guys, I am outside and you can see them. This is the way the house is lit up for Christmas. And those are the DIY Christmas trees that I put out. Aren't they cute? And then the other side is a net on that side as well. We gotta pull that net down a little bit. It's too high up on that one. But yeah, these are the Christmas trees. I love it. So that's the DIY Christmas tree and that's what our house looked like for the holidays. I hope you guys like it and enjoy. Thumbs up this video and make sure you share this video with others. And that projector, just so you know, is a Halloween projector. The Halloween projector always goes on sale after halloween but it had red and green and it had another one that can be used for christmas too so we just kept it for both and we just switched the lights for christmas so that is our christmas setup i hope you guys like it all right ladies it's cold out here as y'all can see we got snow we got snow it's all on the truck we got snow all right y'all Happy holidays, my revivers. This is where I am on social media. I hope you are enjoying the 25 days of us, Miss. You are going to get a video every day, whether it be a live, a vlog, or a DIY. Make sure those notifications are on. Share the channel. And guess what? I'll see you tomorrow.